Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Maya Madden 16 series, trying to get Calvin Johnson that elusive Super Bowl ring. So, this episode, we're going to have three games, starting off against the Vikings here. And first off, I'm just going to ask if you want me to put every single game of the season, hopefully the postseason, and hopefully the Super Bowl, in the in the series in the videos or if you want me to skip to straight to the postseason or whatever you guys want let me know down below and i'll get those videos uploaded for you so hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this episode i mean it was requested by a few people to do another episode of this because i did one about two weeks ago now and i just haven't haven't had the time to do one since really with uh, with my other series going on but we're going to start off against the vikings here hoping to pick it up pick up our second win of the series. So as you can see, in case you missed the first episode, I'll do a little bit of a recap early on. What I've done is I've sort of tried to combine two types of series into one, so a my player combined with trying to get Calvin his ring. And my player is obviously a quarterback as you can see. Started off 70 rated I think. I'm up to about 72 now, you know, just up in my throw middle because as you can see, I throw middle a hell of a lot. I throw mid and throw deep. I don't throw short too often. But I'm trying to get the run game going, which is working reasonably. Um, it's not the easiest thing to do with the Lions because this hasn't got any any updated players. I think this is the, the roster from the start of the year, from what I remember. And they just don't have a good line. But Calvin getting his first touchdown of the episode there. Really nice. I mean, when I get the chance, I'm going to try and get Calvin every single touchdown. If he's one-on-one -on -one or if he's... I think he can make the catch... I'll go to him. But I'm just going to obviously try and get the wins in the game as well. But going up against the CPU, there's certainly a lot of plays which just work. And I'm trying to use them wherever I can. So as you can see, X wide open there. That's Calvin going across the field. Number 81, working his way down the field. And it's 17-0 it's at this point. It's pretty much a dead game. Third quarter. You know, I'm just trying to get everyone in the, in the game involved where I can. But like I said... If Calvin Johnson's open, we're going to go to him. And we're fourth and one here. I'm just going to try and run it in with a fullback dive. And it's one thing that is very annoying is the way the CPU actually runs with the players. I can't run with them. And the way they run is terrible. Like, they just run right into pressure. As you can see there, he could have juked. But he actually got a huge face mask there. Luckily for me, that's a nice flag. Pushing us up the pitch. And... I'm trying to get all the, the objectives and goals I can along the way. So, you know, chew clock, something like that is a goal. Uh, get three first downs is a goal. I'm trying to get all of them and get long passes. Whenever that one pops up, I love that one. Because that means I can just lob it up to Calvin and hope. But as you can see, he had the wide open there as the running back. And we're going to get him for another touchdown. That's 24-7. I'm going to take a win like that early on in the league. Try and get another one in just to get that XP on the team. Hopefully, I mean, it's not an objective, but if we can get Calvin Johnson up to, I think he can get 99 rated potentially in um in career mode. If we can do that, I'll definitely do that in franchise mode. Sorry, franchise mode, career mode. You guys know what I'm on about. But that's the first first game there against the Vikings. And a little bit of a tangent here. Who do you guys support? Let me know in the comments down below that as well. And... Also, let me know what you think your team's first preseason game went like. Because I think when this goes up, a lot of the preseason games will have been played. I mean, I'm I'm recording this for me uh, early on Saturday, so the Lions have played, and I don't want to ruin it for people. So if you haven't seen the results and you don't want to see them, turn the the volume off just for a little a little bit now. But the Lions they did beat the Steelers. Obviously, it's only a preseason game. But I'm more than happy with that. They, they look like they're playing pretty well. Something that I definitely think they're going to benefit from this year is third down situations for the Lions. Getting Bolden in, he's really good on third down situations. With his route running, just the way he knows the game, he can pick up those third and six when you need them the majority of the time. But anyway, back onto the gameplay. Once again, lobbing it up to Calvin. But... Anyway, let me know what you guys think your team did well in their preseason games. Um, how you think they'll do this year. Because I want to I want to get other people's opinions on how they think their teams are going to do. Personally, 
I know I'm biased because I am a Lions fan, but I feel really optimistic about this year. I think if Stafford stays healthy, they've got a really good chance of actually getting to postseason this year because they've beefed up the line a little bit. They've got a few good players in there who can helpfully, uh, hopefully, you know, help the line where needed. We got obviously Taylor Decker, first round pick in there, looks really good. We also got Jeff Schwartz in, who might not be a starter. I mean, he's a very good player. He might not be a starter. He was ranked in the top 20 guards last year in the NFL, from what I know. So I'm not sure whether he, whether he'll actually be starting or not, because he is getting a bit older, and the Lions do have some good younger guards. But he'll just be a wealth of knowledge that the Lions definitely need. I mean, because last year they had the worst O-line in the league, I think. Um, this year, potentially the Bears are rivaling them for that, but that's, uh, that's something for another time. And another video. If you guys want me to do videos where I just talk NFL, I will happily do them because I just love doing things like that. Lovely throw there to, to Calvin getting another another touchdown in the end zone. But also, going into this game against the Broncos, was pretty nervous because they're very good. I mean, they've got the best defence in the league, arguably. Actually, I don't even think it's arguably. I think everyone would agree they have the best defence in the league, especially on Madden. They're all pretty quick. They all... They're all really good at their positions, pretty much. I mean, the keep to leave at corner, very good. The linebackers are very good. The line's very good. I mean, everyone's very good, and especially with, you know, with Von Miller coming in off the side. You have to constantly be on the lookout for him, which is quite hard when you're playing as the, the quarterback. But we're picking up some nice gains there, as you can see. Unfortunately, can't get a different camera angle. I'd like to be zoomed out a little bit more, but can't do that. So it's down to the coming towards the second quarter. Over the middle, not wide open, but open enough to get a nice throw into to Eric Abron there. And he has been huge in this series. I love throwing to the tight end, which I'm sure many of my viewers would know. But this series, it definitely benefits because he's my out if Calvin's sort of locked up. But also, I'm going to say it now rather than at the end of the video. If you guys do enjoy this sort of series... I'll probably be doing this type of series in Madden 17, like a, a My Player Career Mode series, along with a lot of Madden Ultimate Team series, tips and tricks, things like that, which I might have another video out today about uh, sort of Madden tips and tricks, Madden for 17. But if you do enjoy stuff like that, definitely subscribe to the channel because you don't want to miss out on things like that. But me showing the wheels I've got there, getting a first down. I think that's the first time I've rolled out with a quarterback in absolutely ages and it just happens to be the my player one. So I'm not going to complain there whatsoever. We're 35-21 up. It's in the fourth quarter. I know if I just get a score, it's game over and we get a really nice toe-tapping touchdown there. Whole team getting confident off that. Whole team getting the boost and we're just putting the Broncos to bed now pretty much. Once again, I'm just going to lob it up to him if he's one-on-one -on -one. and he's going to come down with it 90% of the time. I mean, six foot five. He's just one of the best receivers of our of our generation. I think. I know a lot of people. Well, actually, a lot of people will agree on that. He could have had so much potential if the Lions had a bit of a better team, which is pretty unfortunate for him. But that's probably why I retired early because so much relied on him, and he just had so much weight to carry on his shoulders. I'm sure those seven eight years he played for the Lions just took his toll on him. But we're coming into the final game of the episode here against the Seattle Seahawks. Probably the toughest game we're going to have. I mean, the Broncos, Super Bowl winners last year, was a very tough game. But the Seahawks, just on Madden, on paper, have a very good team. Like, their defence is just very good. And that's all I'm coming up against, personally. I don't do any defence in this one, since it's in my player. I let the CPU do that. And the Lions CPU defence is actually doing work. But we're coming up against the Seahawks here. Everyone is wearing that really nice bright pink. And you'll see in a moment Pete Carroll with the brightest pink t-shirt on you are ever going to see anyone wearing. But we're coming out kicking here. Hopefully we can get a nice stop early on on defence. There was Pete Carroll with a little cameo of his, of his nice pink shirt there. But we managed to keep him to a field goal on defence. Always nice to see that. And we're going to come out slinging on our first drive here. To be honest, I want to try and get the run involved as much as I can. But as I said... It is really difficult because the line isn't good and the running backs are just slow for Madden standards. I mean, Theo Riddick, he's only got 84 speed. We've got Bell in there who's only got 70-odd speed. So we're going to have to come out throwing. And we're going to lob it to Calvin who's just getting touchdown after touchdown after touchdown in these episodes. I mean, I'm going to be so gutted when he's not in the game yet next year because he was one of the main cards that I loved using this year. And he's actually one of the main cards that got me so many coins on 
on the actual Madden seven, uh, 16 Ultimate Team. Because at some point through the year, he got into the Julio Jones redemption set. And I had three of him in my binder. And he was worth, I think, 30k before that. And he sold for 300k after that. So I made 900k on Calvin. Another reason just to love the man that is Calvin Johnson. But as you can see, I'm going to send loads of people deep. If he's one-on-one, -on -one, I'll give it to him. If not, I'll just give it to Eric Abram. And he's going to come up with the catches. But we're coming towards the end of the second quarter here. 14-6. If I can just get a score on the board, I'm pretty sure the game's going to be in our hands. I mean, I don't want the games to be too easy. But when you're playing quarterback and against a CPU and you have someone who can do that consistently, it's doable to get him his, his Super Bowl, I think. So I'm hoping we do actually manage to pick up the wins to get the Super Bowl. Nice play action pass there. Once again, going to lob it up. We get very lucky there not to get an interception. So that's another thing I think they need to work on for Madden 17. The interceptions for CPU are iffy at best at times. I mean, I get a lot in Ultimate Team, but against me, people miss a lot. So I think I get pretty lucky on that front. So I'm kind of hoping they keep it the way it is, actually thinking about it. But we're coming out here. As you can see, at 17-6. We took our field goal at the end of the second quarter. We get pass interference there, down to the one-yard line. We probably would have got a touchdown, but I can just run it in for the touchdown. And we got four attempts with the fullback. The running isn't the best, but eventually he'll get it in. And he does actually manage to get it in on the first attempt there. That's Burton getting it in for the first... I think that might be his first touchdown of the episode, thinking about it. Because I think Calvin's got most of them. But we get a nice throw there. Very nice catch from Eric Abrom. As you can see, my outlets are just the two guys at the moment. Golden Tate just isn't getting involved. Uh, I love Golden Tate as a player, but on Madden, he just doesn't seem to do enough for me, unfortunately. And obviously, I am looking at Calvin most of the time. So he probably is open when you guys are probably screaming at the screen at some point, saying, throw it to Golden Tate when he's open. But I'm, I don't even consider it, really. He's wide open there. Don't go to him. Go for the one-on-one. -on -one. And, of course, the big man is going to come down with it. That's our third touchdown pass of the game. All of them going to Calvin Johnson. And it's 31-13. We're just running away with the games at this point. The defence, I think, is actually the main strength of the team, which is baffling, to be honest, because the Lions' defence is very slow in that, which doesn't benefit them at all. But we're going to get a flag there. One guy's going to be open. We're going to throw it to him. The flag was against the defence, and we're going up 38-13 at this point. Get the ball back again. One second left in the game. Going to try and lob it up to Calvin. He's wide open. And we get another touchdown for him in the series. So at the moment, he's got about 14 receiving touchdowns in total. So he's definitely on, hopefully, to get the MVP, actually. That'd be an extra good bonus for the series. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed the episode. As I said, like the video if you have. Comment down below on anything I've mentioned throughout to comment on. Subscribe if you are new to the channel and you're looking forward to the videos. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video.